Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and fans of this thing we call liquid dancing. Uh, this is Old Dude again, uh, coming at you with part two of uh, my tutorial or my sharing with you of isolation concepts. Now, in the last tutorial, I keep saying tutorial and I don't mean that. <laughs> uh, the last time I was with you in a previous broadcast, uh, I was sharing how we have the imaginary square, and while you know we're used to doing big movements in liquid like this one, I found that the beauty is in doing little small isolated movements just to add a little more color you know to your liquid and uh, we started with this movement right here, just going up and down, just letting the wrist and fingers uh, go over the imaginary box. Now I'm making, <laughs> this would look a lot better if I, you know, if I had better wrist control, you know, if I, but um, because of pain in my wrist, this is really the best I can do. So if you actually have uh, more supple wrists, it'll look a lot better, you know, but just, you know, continuing on, you know, with this con concept, you know, I found that you can expand it also by doing your tuts, in my click case a duck tut, by doing it this way as well. Same exercise where you, you're really just moving the arm subtly up and down, up and down, up and down, you know, up and down that imaginary box, not too much, just enough so that the wrist and the fingers can go over that imaginary box and do this. Now, you know, it doesn't seem like very much, but when you combine that in an entire dance routine, you know, it just adds that little bit of subtlety, you know, to your routine where, you know, sometimes you're doing very large, very complex movements, you know, and, you know, then you just kind of throw in a little movement uh, during a transitional period, you know, in your routine, you know, when you're, you're, you're getting your breath and uh, or you can you know maybe sometimes you forget to do something you don't quite know what to do and you just need to rest you know for a second you know when you're freestyling so um it's a small contribution you know to uh, liquid again you know you practice the subtle movement you know by using a prop like in my case the saran wrap right here just going up and down up and down up and down just to get used to it, you know, also, you know, this, I mean, you can use a book, you can use anything to really get this movement, uh, it's a little harder to hold it, you know, at this angle and do it, so it's just a matter of you making the tut, you know, movement, again, I do duck tuts because of uh, injury to my wrist and, all, and genetics, you know, it looks a lot better, you know, if your wrists are more supple, but it's still kind of a cool movement, you know, just doing this little subtle thing. You know, so I just suggest that you practice that. Uh, this is really, it's all in the fingers. So one exercise that I found that you can do for this is just coming here and here. Just like this. Over and over again. Over and over again. It's important to do both hands, although I'm not doing the left hand today because... There's a little more pain in my wrist than usual, and I don't want to upset it. Uh, but the movement is basically this. Basically this. Up, down, up. And what's great about this movement here is that this is some a movement that you can pretty much do anywhere. On the bus, while waiting in line in the bank, when you're watching TV in between commercials where you have nothing to do. You know, you just kind of do this movement here We have nothing to do, okay? I'm going to try to do it on here even though it hurts a little bit. Yeah, it's hurting a lot. <laughs> you know, but you want to be ambidextrous. Might be pronouncing the word wrong. You know, but you want to do it to the point where you're really not thinking about it. You know, so when your arm just goes up, you can just kind of do this little subtle movement here. And uh, if you practice this, I feel it will add 
uh, another dimension uh, to your liquid dance. So if you like this, practice it, comment on it, and I'll see you next time.